Dojo and I'm just about to start a class for beginners watercolour. I thought I'd show you just before class, I'd show you this little ninja art tip and it's about the hake brush. So this is a different sort of brush that is not, it doesn't look anything like the watercolour brushes that we use with the nice soft synthetic bristles on it. It's a really large flat brush and it's been bound in a, a different way than what you're probably used to seeing. The hake brush is a Japanese brush, uh, hake, it's often pronounced hake in Australia and the Western world, but it's hake, it's a Japanese brush, a beautiful brush, it's made of goat hair, it's very soft hair here and it's quite short bristles. So it's bound together with this wood here and I wanted to show you how you can make the most beautiful skies using the hake brush. So I'm going to demonstrate by showing you in the overhead camera here. So I'll just switch the camera around to, I've got to do a little tilt here and then see if I can get a nice view of the camera, the desktop here. So is that okay? You can see that. So this is going to be, um, it's up the right way. Yes, no, it's not up the right way yet. Let me just get this right. Sorry. See if I can get it to tilt. And then it's not tilting for some reason. There we go. It's just reversed. Is it? Or is it upside down? Oh, this would be right. Just when I'm trying to do a live video and it's just not doing its thing for rotating. So um, this is a bit of a problem. Oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'll try rotating the camera around this way. <laughs> I haven't ever tried to do this before. Let's see if this works. So... No, this is not going to work. Let me just start this video again. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to have to stop this and start again.